Welcome back to the Sages Workshop, people. It's your boy, King Covington. So I got to do this in one take because I don't have much time before work. And I did this last night because I promised I would do a video every day or at least five days a week. But um, it was just too damn dark outside. I couldn't. Oh, God damn. Uh, too damn dark outside. Couldn't get it filmed right with the light. But it's all good. So we're going to hit it up right now today. Sorry for the rush. So my topic that I was going to talk about or that I talked about last night was my hero academia and specifically the quirks that people have in the show as a parent so i'm just gonna do my four quick worst ones for me right now and uh, there's a couple categories i guess so we'll start real quick with endeavor and present mike and the category will be tantrums so if you watch the show at all you know no spoilers here but endeavor has the power of like you know you can turn it like it's like hell flame so you can just you know engulf himself in flames at all times and imagine your four-year-old you know all of a sudden having the power to engulf himself in flames every time he's pissed off you don't want that that is trash that is the worst thing you want you don't you know and then house on fire like kids school on fire all because he's throwing his hands up. terrible second present like he can like scream you know I don't know, like miles worth of distance. So like, just imagine blowing out your windows every time your kid gets mad because he's four and he can't help but get mad sometimes. It would be ridiculous. Uh, the second category is Shinzo from the show. My man's with the purple hair and he has the ability that every time he asks you a question, if you answer him, you just freeze and like fall under his control. And just like imagine a four year old not like trying not to abuse the fact that Hey, mom, can I have a marshmallow? And you're like, no. And you're oh, damn, now I'm frozen. And he's going to go get the marshmallow. Or he's going to tell me to go get it. You know how hard it would be? Like, kids are pretty much, like, clinical sociopaths until they're, like, seven. So, like, you could, you could just imagine trying to get your four-year-old to understand that, hey, you can't just abuse the fact that you can ask people questions and then make them do things. That would be so horrendous and so difficult because he's four or she's four. And she's like, no, I got all I have is needs at this point kids don't have as that many wants when they're that little so i need this i'm gonna ask you for it and i'm gonna go get it and then uh i guess my number one worst one is a stagnant power and me and my wife have both agreed that this is the worst is the girl that has turned invisible because it's not like her power turns on and off she is just invisible 100 percent of the time so you four years old you like, got your beautiful kid and then all of a sudden you don't know they're there they're just gone. And then, yeah, I've heard the argument, oh, they can wear a mask or some makeup. Nah, bro, it's not the same. You don't get to see your kid's skin. Man, I couldn't imagine my kid just like, and like, it's not like they're even dead or gone or, no, they are always there, just you can't see them. What? Oh, my life. Who? I'm going to have to wrap that up. We can continue this video because I got way more theories and, um, uh, way more to discuss about being a parent in the world of My Hero Academia because sweet Jesus like just the side concept of what if you and your wife have two you know completely separate powers so you have a kid and then like you know it doesn't like generate something from either of your past it just cross breeds into something new and you got to deal with something completely different like my man's with the bird head and the dark shadow he's like the dopest character in the show but he's a human body and the head of a crow and they haven't showed his parents yet but what if neither of his parents have any bird features and all of a sudden I got, you know, I got Toucan Sam up here, and I got, you know, I'm a real boy down low. What the, bro, yeah, we can get back into that later. Love, peace, and chicken grease. That was for you, Paul Lewis, specifically. I will catch y'all on the flip side today for another video later after work. Love all of you. Peace.